wanted to do an episode entitled Microphallus for reasons that quickly become evident. I'm sorry, sound like you said microphallus. His Tina. No, don't say Tina. <laughs> We really wanted to explore how management consultants use people's assets or weaknesses. In this case, the, the poor guy's microphallus. We had a consultant. This was a young African-American management consultant, kind of the young version of Marty. I love the humility. Thank you. He talked about how he has to leverage every individual's perception of him as a black guy. How do I use that as kind of a personal form of psychological judo in order to get what I want from that person, which what he wants is to get the gig and a lot of after work. The first scene of the episode, Marty wakes up and his mom is there sitting on the bed with him and he's freaked out and of course he's just having a dream. It's the anniversary of his mom's suicide. It keeps kind of coming up for him. He just kind of keeps sitting on it. So you're good with it, huh? Yeah, I'm fine. The pressure just keeps building and building on Marty and finally some prick gets out of his, you know, Panamera Porsche and, and is looking for the valet and sees the black dude and hands him his keys and a hundred bucks. And, and of course, Marty uses that judo again and takes the car. I think that balance for him between recklessness and constriction, you know, those things are always at play in this character. He's so in denial about so many things. These things explode out of him all the time. And the last thing we see of, of, of Marty in the episode is just this kind of demonic, demented look as he's just jamming down the, the road in this, in this very hot car. It's kind of chilling and, and funny, I hope.